Yep, this just happened on the Joe Rogan experience. There was J.D. Vance. It was a great interview. Look, I'm going to keep this really short. I just want to make the point that why would anyone go back under the Catholic Church if you already understand Jesus and know that he is the only way and you don't need to be under the church and especially the Catholic Church under the Pope, right? So let's just take a quick listen, shall we? Well, you know these these signs that are in super woke neighborhoods. I'm sure there's plenty of them in Austin. Like in this house, we believe science is real. Yeah, no yeah, person yeah. is like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know your religious background, but like I'm a, I'm a convert to Catholicism. It's like was raised Christian, became an atheist, came back to Christianity, got baptized Catholic like five or six years ago. Um, and what is so interesting about this in this house we believe is it's so similar to the creed that you declare every day at a Catholic Mass, right? We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. And there's almost a similar cadence mm-hmm. between the the Christian creed yes. and what these these guys are doing with this hyper-woke stuff. And then there's the rallies. And then there's, of course, the various rituals. And it absolutely is a religious faith. So there you have it. Just a quick little listen. Listen for yourself. Always research, don't trust anyone, not even me. But we've looked at him before, right? How he's connected to all these same people, right? He's been with all of them. But the most important one that you need to be aware of is Peter Thiel. And he worked with him under Mithril, right? And also he's connected through Rockbridge. Please go take a look. Who is this man, Peter Thiel? Well, he's stealing all your information, what you do, he's watching you with Palantir. Now, Palantir also works with none other, yes, CDC, NIH. And who has a stake in his company? Oh, Vanguard, BlackRock. Oh, okay. And, you know, of course, J.D. Vance got his degree at Yale. Oh, I don't trust anyone who's a lawyer, but anyway, especially those at Yale. But hey, that's regardless. So his one of his companies, Vance co-founded uh, Naria Capital. Please go take a look. He got, as you can see, backing from Thiel, Schmidt, and Anderson. Ah, Schmidt is Google. Anderson is Hewlett Packard. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to come up with, as you can see right there on the bottom, money for gene therapy. Oh, same as what, you know, Bill Gates is up to, you know, and all the all the things just like CRISPR and everything else. So I don't trust anyone. I hope you don't either. And also that company, Naria, of course, look, I'm only looking at a couple of the company names, but one was Halo. And of course, yeah, of course we know he is with Halo, right? The Catholic Church, uh, the former singer, whatever. Look, and don't leave Musk out of it, you know, Peter Thiel worked with Musk. Yeah, they started a company together. First, Thiel had the confirmity and with Levshin and Nozek. But they then tried to work with Musk with the X.com. Well, they soon after restructured, removed Musk, and went back to the PayPal name. While the X, right, became Twitter later on. Look, do all your own research. I don't trust Musk. I don't trust any of these people that are standing next to Trump, nor do I trust Trump. Because we know on this channel, it's about the Hegelian dialectic. It's a game. It's the left, the right, or some like to call it, you know, two wings of one bird, right? Because they're all united behind closed doors. We understand that. Kamala, look, I'm not going to stop you if you want to go vote. Go right ahead, but there's no difference because the votes actually don't matter. They are the people who are the board members of the Corporation of America. This is a big show. This is a big show getting everyone all upset and angry because they're going to get people even angry after the voting is over. That's when the anger is really going to set in and who knows what they're they're going to do. But we all know they're a big family. They're in all those same clubs, Rotary, Lions, Elks, you name it. 
doesn't matter what title it has. They're all affiliated with Freemasonry. We understand on this channel, we just don't trust anything. We only trust in the word of God. We pray and we trust that he will be with us regardless of what chaos is around us until the end. Test everyone. Trust no one except for God. All right. I'll post, of course, pictures when I get a chance, probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have a chance to make a new video until Wednesday. So take it easy, take care, and just wanted to share that with you. Please listen if you'd like to the whole interview. I only listen to maybe half, but that's enough for me. <laughs> All right, God bless. Till next time.